New Zealand is on high alert because of the Taupo volcano. A rumble could be heard from Taupo volcano after a volcanic earthquake on Sunday, March 6th, prompting seismic authorities in New Zealand to turn their attention to the supervolcano. There have been no reports of a volcanic eruption or related explosions in the short term. Taupo in the Southern Hemisphere is often compared to Yellowstone Supervolcano in the Northern Hemisphere or Yellowstone Caldera in Wyoming, USA. Experts believe these massive volcanoes are capable of causing massive destruction in the event of a major eruption, the most recent being the Hunga Tonga Hunga Hapai underwater volcano in January 2022. This is not the first time such tremors have been recorded in a massive caldera system. In fact, it was in 2022 that scientists first observed increased seismic activity near Taupo Volcano. As of early 2023, scientists observing the New Zealand supervolcano have recorded more than 1,600 earthquakes. Earthquakes of magnitude 4.2 in September 2022 and 5.7 in November 2022 caused a small lake tsunami. In its 10.30 a.m. local time bulletin March 8th, earthquake and volcano monitoring website Geonet confirmed minor seismic activity at Taupo Volcano and maintains a volcano alert level 1. The magnitude 4.4 earthquake occurred within 6.21 miles of the surface and the shaking was recorded along the shore of Lake Taupo. More than 20 aftershocks have occurred since the volcanic earthquake. Despite this, authorities are confident that no major eruption will occur anytime soon. The seismicity under the Tanaga volcano in Alaska has increased. Underground tremors are occurring. The Alaska Volcano Observatory, in response to increased seismicity beneath Tanaga Volcano, which was detected on March 6th and 7th, has upgraded the aviation color code to yellow and the volcano hazard level to advisory. The Tanaga earthquake began slowly on March 6th and intensified significantly on the 7th, when tremors were recorded two or three times per minute. The initial locations of these earthquakes indicate that they occurred at a shallow depth beneath the top of Tanaga. At the same time, the strongest earthquakes had magnitudes from 2 to 3.1. This volcano is located on Tanaga Island in the Andrian Islands, about 62.14 miles west of the village of Adak and 1,258.28 miles southwest of Anchorage. The island is home to the Tanaga Volcanic Complex, which consists of three major volcanic structures. Tanaga Volcano is the tallest of them all, at 1.12 miles high. The last recorded eruption of Tanaga Volcano occurred in 1914, and earlier eruptions were recorded in 1763 to 1770, 1791, and 1829. The death toll from a landslide in Indonesia has risen to 30. The death toll from a landslide on a remote Indonesian island has risen to 30 this week. The search for the missing inhabitants is still going on. A landslide hit the island of Sarasan in Indonesia's Natuna region on Monday after heavy rains. A layer of mud buried several homes in the village. Rescuers are still searching for the 24 missing people. More than 1,200 residents have been evaluated from the affected area. The Disaster Management Agency previously reported that the landslide was estimated to be 3.94 to 7.87 inches long. The meat and dairy industry and rice farming could heat the earth by more than 34.7 F. Experts at Columbia University in the United States have studied in detail the emissions of the agricultural sector, which is dominated by livestock and rice cultivation. They concluded that global food production could frustrate the Paris Climate Agreement's goal of curbing global warming. Climate emissions from the global food system could cause the planet to warm above 34.7 F, even without counting emissions from burning fossil fuels. It is estimated that if current emissions from food production continue, they will cause global mean temperatures to rise between 33.26 F and 33.62 F by the end of the century, in addition to the 33.62 F of warming already observed. This means that emissions from food alone will push the world above the 34.7 F limit. 
Scientists have found that 75% of the possible warming of the atmosphere due to the food industry is due to foods with a large methane footprint. Mainly meat and dairy products and rice patties are involved. Methane plays a dominant role in the warming associated with food systems, said steady leader Catherine Ivanovich.